Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary where we learn the meaning and definition of several technical words. As a part of today's episode, we are trying to understand another important document of testing which is called as test cases. Now test cases are basically determined or defined as a set of instructions or the user steps which are written in such a way that is used to validate the functionality or a particular feature of an application. Now this test case can be specific to a particular component, uh, integration between different modules or even for the entire system. Not only that, it can also move into the non-functional testing and test various non-functional quality characteristics. A test case is written in such a way which completes all the information about a particular activity or a validation rule. For example, right from the unique identification called as test case ID, objective of a particular test case that why are you writing it, what are the prerequisites associated in order to run this particular test. It can be the application or kind of network availability or access to the database. Following that, we have information about the test data. If there are any fields which are going to be entered by the user with a certain set of value which could be valid or invalid, depends on what you are conducting, whether positive testing or negative testing, you can have your test data in this column. The next important column in your test case sheet will be the test steps. The steps which a user will perform on in order to do that or interact with that particular feature is what you put in these steps. For instance, if I want to test login page, then I would say enter username as something, enter password as something, and click on the login button or OK button. Following that, you have expected result, which basically includes that what do you expect to happen in case the user performs these steps on this particular application by following these prerequisite. And the expected result will tell you that what, are, what is that you will be achieving at the end of the execution. Following that, when you're writing the test cases, you have only these columns. When you start executing the test cases, you add two more columns to this, that is actual result and the status of the test. Now, of course, actual result will be what exactly happened on the screen at the real time, and you compare that with the expected. And if your expected is, is equal to actual result, then you mark your status of the test case as pass, or else it will be fail. The moment the test case fails, you report a defect to be uh, resolved by the concerned stakeholder team. Now, that's what is more about the detailed writing of the test cases. Sometimes the test cases can be very logical instead of being concrete. So logical means that when you're talking about uh, testing a particular product like pen. Now to test a pen, of course, you don't have to write a detailed uh, test case sheet with all the information. You can even make use of uh, simple statements like check the dimensions of the pen, check the, uh, you know, the color of the ink, whether you can write it on the pen or not. So you can just use one-liners to justify the same. Well, that was a quick introduction to make you understand that what exactly the test case is all about and how you can definitely write the test cases either in logical or concrete way. We will definitely be talking more about it, but this is about quick definitions. So should you have any other words with you which you want me to discuss, feel free to comment them below and I'll love to take them ahead in our upcoming tutorials. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.